Right, Lions TV, we're at finished at the Den. Uh, a Millwall free, Rotherham United, nil. Um, try to keep it in the light there. Go on, Joe, what do you reckon, mate? Yeah, brilliant performance. Controlled the game from start to finish. Um, just looked so comfortable. I think the midfield played a huge part today. Uh, special mentions Callum Stiles, uh, my man of the match. He just looked so comfortable every time he got the ball in the middle of the park there and the way he sprayed it about. And could you see from the uh, fans' reaction when he got uh, eventually taken off to a stand innovation? Um, yeah, just looked really comfortable. Um, it's just strange how sandwiched between this game and the Watford game we got performance like that on a Thursday night. But um, hey ho, brilliant, brilliant result. And we stand in fourth. Yeah, we're standing for. I mean, uh, to be honest, like Joe said, I think there was more, more movement. Sorry, to get the light. There, more movement in the midfield today. More energy. More, you know, like that. It was a bit slow the other day, but today with the style sort of added to the midfield, it de definitely gives us a lot more energy in that position, and yeah, it definitely. just showed today. Then I? I don't think we was spectacular by any means, but we done the job what we needed job to point. do. So I'm not. I don't. Well, I'm not complaining. More than happy. I think we look back on it. I think Robert said in his interview that if you looked at the three fixes and you went seven points, we'd snap your hand off for that. So, yes, let's forget about the, the Bristol City mm. uh, debacle. Today was better, more energy. Um, I actually thought, um, what's his name? I thought he got an hat trick. I didn't realise that goal was sure. given, the second one was given for an own goal. Did you, Joe? Uh, but, yeah, I see it go down as an own goal. Um, Slightly harsh, I don't know. Yeah, a bit sorry for him. him, a bit him sorry for him. But listen, um, cheers, Gar. But much better performance today. Um, like I say, more energy in midfield, and yeah, and it just made the difference today. I think he sub. I think Saville looked tired when he came off the other day, didn't he? And I think it's probably a good game to rest it. When we first see him. the starting lineup, everyone's like, "Why is he dropped Saville?" But in the grand scheme of things. The way we controlled that game, you look at the result, you think, yeah, good time to rest him, really. And uh, Yeah, I mean, you can't turn around and say, oh, they're tired. They're having they a month off, really, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. through for the World Cup. So, I'm not having all that stuff about, oh, he's tired and things like that. He Maybe he's not fit. Maybe he's not fit. Again, there's no excuse not being fit. He's had a month off. Um, but it definitely, definitely added to the game today with the styles. He was buzzing about yeah, everywhere, but now, running about, wasn't he? But now, what do you do for, I know, well, next league game's two weeks' time. What do you do now? I think I'll tell you. Styles performance. He'd have yeah. to stick with him. Stick Billy with Mitchell him. again. William. Yeah, Billy Mitchell again. Going from strength to strength, he is. And, um, yeah, after that, you find it hard for uh, Savile to we, slot straight back in. Yeah, but also, what you got to remember, and I keep banging on about this year after year sometimes we've been in this position not as good a position as this now at the moment yeah. we lay full and we don't we need to go on move on we need to take the extra on. step and, and get some players in which we never do and then before you know it we're dropping away like we always tend to do and I'm just asking Mr Berylson and Rowett sort something out we need a striker and someone who could get down and wing a couple of wingers you know two or three players to, to, to push on to keep ourselves in that position yeah. in the playoffs we're not, you know we're not, not obviously looking at automatic but we need to get cement that position in the playoff and with that the only way we're going to do it is invest in the squad which we never ever ever do yeah. and then we just drop down so I'm asking you John and Gary sort it out bring a few players in and you never know we could even get into the top two so um, but listen happy new year to everyone um Brilliant three points. Happy and, days. You know, happy days. We never thought we'd be fourth in the league. We're always looking down relegation in the past. Yeah. But this time, we're always great a club. Position. You're in a great position. We're looking upwards, not downwards. And we can push on. We just need more investment. And this is the time to do it yeah. before we drop away. So I'm asking you again, come on, lads, invest in the club, and we'll push on. we get into that top six. All right? So for me, Joe, come on, come you on Lions. Happy New Year.